Hi and welcome to Outdoors with Richard. So today I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Alpkit Elan bivvy bag. Now here in the UK I purchased this bivvy for £79.99. However, depending where you live or where you purchase this from, prices may vary. Now currently this bivvy comes in just the one colour which is classed as a kelp, which is basically just a green colour. Um, now it comes in this uh, nice drawstring storage bag that looks uh, pretty uh, well made. Now on the Alpkit website it states that the length of the storage bag comes in at around 39 centimeters or around 15.4 inches and the width comes in at around 11 centimeters or around 4.33 inches. Now, when it comes to the packed weight, so obviously the storage bag, the bivvy, the poles and the pegs, it doesn't actually state that on the website. Um, so I weighed it and uh, I can confirm the packed weight came in at around 980 grams. Now, Alpkit do list a uh, weight on their website of 900 grams. However, um, they state that this is for the storage bag, the bivvy and the poles but not including the ground pegs. Right, let's open up the storage bag and let's have a look what we get for our money. So let's take a look at what you get for your money. First of all, you get your storage bag, which I showed you earlier. You also get your bivvy, which comes rolled and tied. You then get two 7001 alloy poles, which come in their own storage bag and finally you get seven uh, red y-beam ground pegs that also come in their own storage bag right let's go outside let's get this bivvy pitched and let's take a closer look right i've pitched the bivvy it took me all of two to three minutes to pitch so it really was very very quick now, apart from threading through a couple of poles, which uh, these poles are both identical, so it doesn't matter which pole sleeve you thread them through, you can't go wrong. All that's left to do then is to put in some ground pegs and you are up and running. Right, let's take a closer look at the outer fabric of this bivvy. Now, the outer fabric is made out of a 70 denier ripstop nylon and it has a 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating also all the seams on this bivvy are fully taped so it makes it 100 percent waterproof right moving around to the head end of this bivvy we can see that we've got a rain flyer coming down here if i just undo this rain flyer and lift it up underneath the rain flyer you can see you've got a little mesh window which is going to help with airflow and also help reduce condensation. Right, you've also got a little toggle here. So um, if it's particularly warm and it's not raining, you can always just roll the rain fly up and keep that uh, mesh window fully exposed. Okay, moving down the bivvy to the foot end, you do have a little loop on the bivvy here which you can thread a cord through and then raise the foot end up giving you a little bit more room at the foot end internally right let's take a closer look at the side entrance to this right, when it comes to the side entrance of this bivvy it has a three quarter length zip so it makes getting in and out this bivvy really easy. Now you do have a storm flap here that covers the zip to protect it from the elements. And you also have a storm flap, a rain flyer that covers the top of the zip. Now, when you're in this bivvy, you've got several options of how you want the outer door. You can either get in and have it fully zipped up or you can zip it most of the way but perhaps just leave a little bit of the top open so you've got like a little post box window there that you can look out of and you can get a nice bit of airflow however you've also got the option to bring down a little mesh window which will be zipped to the outer 
door so no creepy crawlies will um, fly in your bivy while you're in there however as I say if you don't want this uh, mesh window you have got a little toggle there so you can just roll it up and um, tie it up right let's open this bivy and have a look inside right so as I say you've got your three quarter length zip which you can fully undo and open it right up so looking inside the bivy looking at the uh, the ground sheet first of all this is made out of a 70 denier ripstop nylon and this has a 5000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating don't forget I've said that all the seams are fully taped as well so it makes it 100% waterproof now when it comes to the internal measurements of this bivy the length of the bivy comes in at 225 centimeters the width at the widest point so where your head and where your shoulders are comes in at 77 centimeters and then the width at the foot end comes in at 72 centimeters when it comes to the height from the ground sheet up to the highest part here by the pole you're looking at 45 centimeters now i'm six foot two i have a 46 to 48 inch chest i have a 38 inch waist and i have a size 12 feet and i can get in fairly comfortable you don't have acres of room but i can get in so if you're smaller than me you're going to have plenty of room now the other things to look at inside this bivy you do get a uh, strap here that you can put your air mat underneath to keep it in place and then right at the back here you've got a couple of mesh storage pockets just to store a few knickknacks also on the inside of the bivy it's white so it makes it brighter when you're uh, inside the bivy especially so you can see when you're uh, undoing the zips but um, that's the bivy but let's now talk about usages pros and cons of this bivy. right let's talk usages so you could use this bivy for some stealth camping you could use it for some wild camping or just some general camping now personally i would use this bivy for maybe one to two nights max um, I certainly um, wouldn't use it for multi-days. I think after one to two nights, you're going to be craving the size of a tent. But what you could do is take a top with you, put it over the top of your bivy, which gives you a little bit of room. So you could sit underneath your top um, and relax, have something to drink, make something to eat. Um, so while you're waiting to go to bed, you've, you, you, you've got a bit of extra room to relax um, because what you can't do is sit uh, in your bivy uh, waiting to um, go to sleep. It's, it's just too small. Also, um, putting a top over your bivy, it's going to give you that extra layer of protection from the elements. All right, let's talk about pros of this bivy. I like the storage bag. It was a simple storage bag, but it seemed really, really well made. Um, the size of the storage bag was pretty good. Um, the packed weight at uh, 980 grams, which um, I weighed, um, for me, was more than acceptable. I know on the site they say that they, um, they advertise the weight of the storage bag, the bivy and the poles, at 900 grams. Um, I actually got 910 grams, um, but that, that, that is still fine. Um, the reason they uh, put that weight on their site without the pegs is because some people that use bivvies, the freestanding bivvies that don't need guy lines, they, um, they say, well, listen, um, when, when I lie inside my bivy, um, I don't need the ground pegs because um, my body weight will keep um, the bivy uh, secured. Um, so I think that's why um, they put that weight up there um, without uh, ground pegs. Now, um, I felt that the bivy was well made. Um, I didn't have any issues with the waterproofing. Also going online and other people I know, they've had zero issues with the waterproofing. So more, more than waterproof, 
um, especially as all the uh, seams are fully taped. Um, I liked uh, the couple of mesh windows. They helped with a bit of ventilation and helped um, reduce a little of the condensation. Um, I love the side entrance on this bivvy. Um, I much prefer a side entrance bivvy to a front entrance bivvy. Uh, getting in a side entrance is, is so much easier than getting in a uh, front entrance bivvy. Um, space wise, it wasn't a bad space. Um, so not too many issues with that. Um, height wise was okay. Um, and finally the price. Um, I paid £79.99 for this bivvy. And to be honest, I thought that was a fair price for this bivvy. So let's look at some of the cons. Um, well, I'm going to go back to internal space of this bivvy. Yes, the space was okay um, for me while I was using a three season sleep system. I felt uh, as soon as I used a four season sleep system, um, including obviously uh, the size I am, um, I felt that uh, the space um, became fairly restricted in the bivvy. Now, if you are smaller than me, um, you could use a three or a four season um, sleep system and, and, and you'll be absolutely fine. But if you are bigger, um, then if you did need to um, upgrade to a four season sleep system, I think you will start finding that the, uh, the space um, starts becoming a little bit um, of a squeeze. Um, now, the internal height um, by your head, I just felt was too low. Um, I previously did a review on the Snug Pack Stratosphere, and that was really, really low. Uh, well, the Alp Kit Elan is um, even lower. So um, once again, um, internally, if I used a, um, a, a three season sleep system with a smaller, say, inflatable pillow, I felt I was quite close to the um, to the roof of the bivvy. As soon as I, I I put in that four season sleep system plus perhaps a slightly bigger pillow, I felt I was virtually touching the top of uh, the roof of the bivvy. Um, now, as I always say, you know, if you are thinking about buying a bivvy, if you do suffer with claustrophobia, um, a bivvy is just not the way to go. And um, in particular with this bivvy. Um, Height-wise in this bivvy um, is definitely the lowest um, I've ever come across um, in all the bivvies that um, I've reviewed. So an extra, say, four or five inches on the height of this bivvy would make your experience inside this bivvy just um, so much uh, better. Um, now, when it came to the breathability of this bivvy, um, I did get warm. To be honest, you get warm in uh, most bivvies. Um, if not all of them, they do say that um, you can add up to um, around 10 degrees um, to your sleep system when using a bivvy. So in the winter, you're going to feel it. And in the summer, you're definitely going to get um, pretty warm. Um, now, with the breathability um, or lack of, um, you know, um, it's definitely going to contribute to that condensation, especially um, depending on what time of year you're using your bivvy. But also, can I just say that regardless of what bivvy you've got or what fabric uh, your bivvy is made out of, um, no fabric is 100% breathable. So you are going to get a certain degree of, um, of heat buildup in your bivvy and uh, in turn it is going to create some condensation which um, leads me to those two mesh windows, which, which were okay, but I would like to see a second door on this bivvy where you could roll the outer door up, especially in the warmer times of the year, and then you've got a second mesh door, which to be fair, a lot of other bivvies have, which really help with um, reducing condensation because it's encouraging um, more um, airflow. Um, right, um, what else? Um, what I didn't like was um, how the bivvy lies on top of you. I much prefer a bivvy where there's a separate pole at the end. So um, it's a bit more kind of tent shaped really, because then when it rains, the rain can just run off. Or if you are camping in snow, 
the snow can just fall off. When the uh, bivy lies flat on you, when it starts raining, you start getting pools of water. And um, also with the snow, you could start getting little piles of snow. And unless you're, um, you know, moving around or kicking it off, it, you, you're just, as I say, going to end up with piles of water, uh, pools of water, I should say, and piles of snow. Now, uh, waterproofing, not a problem, so it won't come through. But nevertheless, um, I just don't like that. So, yeah, definitely a, a, a hoop at the end. I know on the end of this bivy, you've got that little loop where you could put a little cord through and pull it up to give you a little bit of height. Um, I have seen someone try to put um, in a video, put a little stick there. And to me, that's just a lot of faffing around. If you're going to put a little hoop there, um, I know it adds a little bit of weight, but you know what? Just, 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 just put another little um, hoop so you can um, pole sleeve, I should say, where you can just thread the pole through and um, and and have a little bit of room in your bivy. Um, now, the last thing um, for me, price wise, um, I think for the bivy as it is, I paid seventy nine ninety nine. But I have to say that was um, Alp Kit's special price. Their normal price for this bivy is, um, I think, £99.99. And, pence. and I have also seen this bivy advertised at around £134.99. Now, I've got to say at £79.99, um, I think it's at its money. I think it's um, a pretty good buy. Um, I don't think I'd be spending a hundred or more than a hundred pound on this bivy. I think there are other bivvies out there uh, which will perform as well, if not better than this bivy, and actually have some better pe uh, features um, for around the same price. So if you are thinking of getting a bivy, I would definitely um, have a good look around. But um, on that note, um, I'd like to know what you think of this um, Alp Kit Elan Bivy. Um, do you have one? Um, are you thinking about getting one? Um, did you used to have one? Um, listen, it's not a bad bivy. Um, you know, it's, it's probably not for me. Um, now, I know a lot of people that do have this bivy. They absolutely love it. Um, they won't have a bad word to say against it. And that's absolutely fine. You know, what I'm saying in this video is just my personal opinions. Um, what I would say is that regardless of what bivy you have, um, if it works for you, then it's the right uh, bivy for you. But on that note, um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, please give me a, a nice thumbs up. It only takes a second. Um, if you already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate um, your loyalty. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please come on board and um, help the channel grow. Lots more videos to come. And until next time, thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon.